So today I have a wireless microphone system. And the first thing you might be thinking is, yeah, it has a little bit of that nostalgic feel to it, doesn't it? And this is a budget system. So we will put it to the test on different cameras, go in the distance and comparing it to its competitors. Ready? Welcome to the channel. I have a lot of products that have been sent to me to review and I have been very busy this month. So if you can, click that button right there and uh, you'll be able to catch up with all the latest cool products that I'm reviewing. Also, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you click that button right there. And if you're someone that's interested in this or you know someone that will be, the link is down in the description, plus a surprise link, which is always fun. You never know what you're gonna get. So the MCO Plus or the MCO Plus or the MCO Plus comes in a nice fitted case. And seriously, this has such a retro look. I love it. It comes with a clever mounting mechanism, a high definition sound lavalier microphone. It comes with a cable to connect to cameras and a cable to connect to the smartphone or computer, a USB-C cable for charging and a transmitter and receiver. The receiver is pretty simple. Power button, LED lights to display connectivity and a stereo mono switch. So when you have multiple transmitters, you can split the signal for convenient editing later. It has a clip on it. It has an antenna and you can charge it from the bottom. This mounting mechanism is actually really clever. It's a cold shoe connector that can be tightened, which also rotates 360 degrees. And you can attach it to a cold shoe or even on a tripod or anything with a standard screw thread. There's an output plug, but also a headphone plug for direct monitoring, which is very handy for quality control. The transmitter has an LCD display. And I actually think that's important if you're doing your own videos and talking to the camera so that you can keep track of the battery status, the channel and other data. The lav mic gets screwed in, which makes it so much more secure for any accidental bumps or detachments. So now let's try a sound quality test. So this is what it sounds like. The lavalier is clipped right here on my shirt. Probably shouldn't do that, that's probably annoying. There are 48 wireless channels on here. That way if you're getting any interference on one channel, you have 47 others to choose from. It also uses UHF frequency band, which is very stable and clean transmission. So this is what it sounds like connected to the GoPro. It actually pairs pretty nicely with the GoPro. And it has a range of 50 meters or 164 feet in an open wide area. Hold on. All right, so this is about 50 meters away, 164 feet. And uh, you can tell me, does the transmission sound good? Does it sound great? So I'm gonna keep going. We're just gonna test it out, go past the 50 meter mark and uh, keep going up this hill. So hopefully you're able to hear me now. Maybe you're not even able to see me now. I have no idea the camera's way over there. So that's pretty good that it gives you that kind of range without all that interference. But let's see what it sounds like compared to its competitor, the Wireless Go. So now I'm using the Rode Wireless Go. It's just the transmitter clipped on to my shirt, just like that, as you can see. Uh, that's kind of how they sell it. Pretty far back here, uh, Rode Wireless Go. I don't know if you can see me. I'll put a little arrow where I'm at. All right, testing one, two, three, Rode Wireless Go. Moving back as far back as we went with the Micco Plus. Whew, all right. That's the uh, range test and the Rode Wireless Go. Hopefully it sounds good because it is like three times the price, which means uh, let's actually look at the price. That's right, it goes for 79 US dollars, or you can get a two transmitter pack for $149. Compare that to the Wireless Go for $229 or the Wireless Go 2 for $299. So who is this for? I think this is perfect for those that want good quality, but maybe also on a budget, anyone that does live streams, vlog recording, podcasting, presentation, program recording, weddings. So basically anyone wanting a microphone, but not being on a leash. That's it for today's review. I hope that you found this helpful. Thank you to MCO Plus for sending these to me so I can play around with them. I actually find great value in these and will have many uses for them on my channel. More cool things coming up here, so make sure you stick around. Also, make sure you check out that Tech is Hard podcast. That's always a good one. And the music channel where I play some songs and check out this video. All right, whiskey, ready?